All right, any sounds in the background you may be hearing is my AC unit because it is quite toasty and I decided to cook my uh, my lunch. Chicken breast and chicken thighs. I'm going to mix them up. White and dark meat on a sandwich. And that's going to be real good. I think, do I have Gouda in there today? No, I think I got sharp and provolone for the cheese. Okay, <laughs> uh, this is The Wire. Season 4, episode 8. Um, this episode is interesting. There's quite a few things happening uh, in this episode. So, I guess I'll talk about the uh, political side first. I know that's not... Uh, I, I typically I typically try and steer away from it, but it's, it's a main... It's part of the main story of this whole... Well, actually, no, it's... Is it? Yeah, it's part of the main story this whole season. But anyway, uh, so this mayor's doing something interesting, or, or Corchetti, the mayor to be, is doing something very interesting. He's immersing himself in each department to see how they function, and not, I, I don't see it as the character doing it to be like, well, this isn't done my way, so it's incorrect. He's saying it's not done correct, period. Or it's uh, or it's done in a, a a fucked up manner, which is true, because they they broke they broke down all the seasons past in like with a couple of lines of dialogue. It's like they're only doing what they they're only doing they're only policing that way in order to satisfy these numbers, these mysterious numbers, ten percent this, twenty percent that, and it's just it's just not the proper way to do it. So he sees that, and he's switching up some trying, or he's, I should say he's uh, looking who, who fits each of these positions uh, uh, correctly or is a better fit for, for each of these positions that will be coming, that will be, will be becoming available. I finally got it out. That will be becoming available. <sighs> God, I wish it wasn't a tongue twister, but... That's why I'm doing these videos, or at least, yeah, one of the reasons I'm doing these videos, help my speech. Anyway, um, what's Carcetti do? Yeah, yeah. So he's he's trying to make uh he's trying to make some some moves. Uh, come on, dog. What a. Okay. Yes. What? What do you want? I'm I'm I'm. He's going to do this until I pet her. Aren't you? Boo-boo. Come on. Hey, come on. Hmm? Hmm? Okay. Okay, okay, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. That's my girl. That's my girl right there. It'll help me make it through the hard times. Well, that was really personal, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, anyway, um, talking about Carcetti. Carcetti, uh, what does he do? Yeah, he immerses himself in each department to figure out how they function, seeing what's uh, inadequate, what could be done better. Uh, not really planting seeds. He's making waves. He's gonna he's gonna do a lot of changes, but he's seeing what he's uh, able to change and what he's not able to change. Like I said, I don't really, I'm not really too much into politics, so I can't break that down for anybody. I can only tell you what I saw in the episode. <laughs> um, but next, uh, so we've been following these group of kids since the beginning of the season. Um, I don't think none of them has fallen off just yet. None of them has fallen off just yet. Now, there's one kid who's uh, caught the eye of. Uh, Marlo's crew as being like a reliable or possible prospect uh, of reliability. Uh, I'm guessing that's his stepfather or of sorts, maybe, comes back into the picture and he's very wary of him. You see a little bit inappropriate touching going on, so you can only assume what, what he's done to him in the past. And he's really protective of his younger brother, which is understandable now. This may wind up uh, having a bad effect on him 
course it's gonna have a bad effect on him. But by that, I mean it's gonna, it might, it's a possibility that this guy coming back into their lives may push him to the street life, and he's gonna. I'm hoping he, I'm hoping he kills that dude personally. If he did what I think, if he did what I think they're insinuating, I hope he does kill the guy because people like that should be exposed to radiation. Thank you, Chernobyl, for. <laughs> Oh, why am I making fun of that? Anyway, um, yeah, uh, I'm waiting to see what's going to happen there. Uh, uh, is it Herc? I think it's the character's name is Herc. He's he's got himself into a, a, a bit more than he can handle. He's pretty much gone head up against this uh, uh, Marlo. And man, I hate to see him. I hate to see that character get killed off like that. But that, that looks like that's where it's heading. Because these guys are just is his two hitman or his hitman and hit girl. They're so they're so smart and calculated and and how they conduct their business. I mean, they don't do anything without thinking. I mean, they're it's not necessarily that they're a step ahead of anybody. They're just really calculated with their movements, and it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see, of course. But I hate to see Kurt hurt get uh, killed off like that. But you know, it is coming to the end of this particular season and. Uh, the series in general. I think I only have one more season. But anyway, um, what else happens in this episode? Uh, well, most of it was really Karkitty riding around and being exposed to uh, being exposed to the to the daily operation of these different units. Um, uh, oh, Bunk, 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 Mc, McNutty's old partner. Uh, he. Well, did that dog just poop? Jesus Christ. That dog just pooed it, man. Or was that me? I would have heard of it. Anyway, um, uh, uh, Bunk has really spearheaded the, 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 spearheaded the, um, spearheaded this, uh, he's on a mission, basically. He's on a mission to save Omar from, from this jail cell. And in doing so, he's trying to get, a case reopened and turned around and and of course they, they run it up to the chain of command chain of command's like nope we're not losing this case we're not losing this uh conviction we we need to we need the numbers which is just it's so silly but anyway uh there's more to it i'm just scratching the surface if i'm being 100 percent honest about it um so yeah so Bunk does that, and he, I feel like he succeeded in a way, uh, trying to save Omar. I feel like he succeeded, or he's, he's making waves in, in the right direction, or a direction that he wants to go, at least I feel. Um, what else happens in this episode? Oh, uh, um, um, Prince Belusky. He is, so the school, there's two things I should mention at the school. So uh, first thing is to talk about Prince Belusky. Prince Belusky is making... He's doing a lot of good work there. He's getting these kids to, he's getting these kids to a, a certain point, or at least he's got a, he's got the trust on his side now. But he's complaining about his inability to teach these kids because they don't have the fundamentals in place in order to uh, take those and and, and and execute inside uh, 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 the bigger picture. That makes any sense at all. I mean, they, they just like me. I mean, I've pretty much got. I pretty much got the same treatment as, as some of those kids. It's like, hey, man, you know, do your best. And, yeah, do your best. And we need this money from the from the state, so these percentages have to be good, blah, 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 all that good jazz. Been there, done that. And it's a sad part of education. I mean, you wonder why uh, some parents don't trust their kids to be put inside the school system, but, you know, you need kids still need to have those interactions so they can be functioning adults unlike me even though i went to school i still lack the proper skills to be an adult i guess anyway i'm, I'm getting really really on a personal note here um see what else happens in there oh yeah so that that special group that uh the old colonel is a part of he's they're making they're making some progress they're really excited about their work of course they're finding out new stuff all the time about uh, these kids. Um, it'd be interesting to see where this, where this goes. Well, it'd be interesting to see what road this takes. I mean, I'm not 100% of where they're going with it. I, I feel like they're just, 
They're gathering information to better understand them. Okay. I'm just be interested to see where it goes. That's I'm gonna leave it at that. Now if you like me <laughs> being interrupted by my dog here, um you can check out some of my other videos. I've done the complete series of Breaking Bad, I've done Mandalorian, which I don't like. I've done uh uh God, I'm doing The Godfather in Harlem, I'm doing uh, the Americans, uh, of course, you're watching The Wire. Also, Futurama. I'm, go check those videos out and subscribe.